Hey everybody, I'm Steven, the Mile High Biker, and thanks for watching today. Next week, I'm going to go bikepacking, and I'm super excited about it. I've got myself a little mini adventure planned. What I'm going to do is ride from my apartment down to Cherry Creek Reservoir. Got reservations at the campground down there. Um, it's about a 7.3 mile ride. Most of it's paved path, but I think I'm gonna add some gravel just to have some fun. And it's gonna be an awesome way to dip my toes into bikepacking. I've never done it before. I've gone backpacking once. Um, and so th this is a good way. I think it's really safe. I'm in town. Uh, there's water, there's bathroom services. There's a lot of things that I'm not gonna have to worry about, which is gonna make it easier. It's gonna make it easier being my first time. So I figured I would share with you the rig that I'm using and go over some of the gear and how I'm packing it onto the bike. The bike that I chose for this trip is my 2021 uh, Redwood from Poseidon. I think bikepacking is exactly what they had in mind when they created this bike. It's got all the mounts and everything you need. So I'm excited to finally use this bike for uh, more of its potential. Starting from the back of the bike and working our way to the front, Let's talk about how I've got things packed on the bike. In the back, on the saddle, I've got the rear uh, loader. I think it's called the rear loader from Toe Peak. And it's really cool. It's 10 liters, maybe even a little bigger than that. It's pretty huge. Right now, I don't have everything that's going to be in there in there. But what I do have is my tent. I was able to put my sleeping pad in there. I was able to put my uh, little inflatable pillow that I bought, haven't used. We'll see how that works. Probably going to be able to stuff clothes, I think, is going to be uh, what will fill in the extra space that's in that bag. So most of my sleep system, I was able to pack all in, in that one bag. The only thing missing from it is the sleeping bag, which we'll get to. It's on the front of the bike. Now moving up to the frame bag. I've got this full frame bag from Amazon. I don't remember the brand's name right now, but the Moose is their logo. It's really rugged um, and sturdy. It's big, it's got lots of room. It fits the frame of the spike, I think pretty good. Um, and I like that it has a very bright interior color, so it's easy to find things when you're looking around in there. Packed in the frame bag is my cook setup. So I have my camp stove, couple of pots, some silverware, the gas can for that stove is in there. I've got bike repair stuff in there, extra tube, pump, multi-tool, a uh, small little um, first aid kit that's got tire levers in there, extra cash if I need it for some reason. There's a little bit of extra space left over in that bag right now and I think I plan to put as much food as I can in there and keep all that heavy stuff in the center of the bike low, helping out with the weight distribution. Now moving up forward a little more, we'll go to the top tube bag. This is where I plan to keep my phone, keys, the garage door opener, just those little things like that. Maybe my power bank will go in there too and a snack for the ride, although I probably won't actually eat during the ride. Next to the top tube bag is the stem bag, which of course will have a bottle of water. And on the front fork, we've got the Versa cage from Topeak. It's really cool. You can attach virtually anything you want to it. I think I'm gonna be using it to uh, take the chair. And attached to the front handlebars with some valet straps uh, is my sleeping bag. Uh, I've never used this sleeping bag. I kind of thought it was gonna be a little smaller. Um, it is supposed to be a lightweight, packable, backpacking, bikepacking, sleeping bag. Um, I think with a compression sack it would probably go smaller, but it just fits on the handlebars and the valet straps seem to be really secure. So I'm excited that I'm able to bring that and make sure that I'm really comfortable when I'm sleeping. Also on the ride, I'm probably gonna have my backpack with my water bladder, uh, camera equipment, stuff like that. Maybe clothes that I can't fit into the rear loader I can put or food that I can't fit into the frame bag I can also put those things in my backpack and so that's my setup 
If you've gone bikepacking and you're seeing a red flag or anything, let me know. I've got a week before I actually do this, uh, but I'm excited. I think I have everything. So go out there, do something new with your bike, and I'll see you guys in the next one.